Missouri will be all aglow this weekend. They'll have lights, they'll have Santa Claus, a candlelight walk, and a mile-long parade. And there's even the annual Defiance Parade that brings out thousands to line the streets. Let's take a look in the Metro. This is the biggest parade in the smallest town in St. Charles County. Although less than a mile, it's an hour filled with animals and vehicles alike. There'll be about 100 participants, at least 100. Uh, we have horses, dogs, uh, goats, <laughs> all kinds of things. And it's grown beyond just cars and trucks. ATVs and side-by-sides that are decorated and um, with Santa Claus. Um, it's going to be quite the show. And there will be bragging rights. There's a top float. There's a, a, a monetary prize for that. And I believe there's a prize for the for the Ranger side-by-side, antique car. So there's a category of different prizes. The way it started was with a simple honk of a horn that caught on. John Lacey started this parade, I'd say, 13 years ago, where he has an El Camino. Or, and he put a Christmas tree in the back of it, and he'd drive up and down the street honking his horn with Christmas lights. <laughs> and so it caught on. People started joining him and joining him until it got bigger and bigger. Families are encouraged to make an entire day of it. The Roadhouse here is serving breakfast, a really nice breakfast, starting at 8.30 to 11. And then you can bring your, the parade starts up at Defiance Ridge, where you can put, put your vehicles in it or your floats. It starts with the St. Charles County Police and Marine Color Guard, fire trucks, and then the classic vehicles. I think people uh, are kind of craving a small town type atmosphere. Tomorrow at noon, there will be vendors, Santa Claus will be there, live music and food and drinks until about 5 p.m. And then afterwards, you can stick around for the candlelight walk that they'll have at the Daniel Boone home.